Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. How dare you? I would thank you all for allowing me to speak to you tonight, but you tried not to allow it, yet here I am. Now, you only give us 60 seconds, so let me get to the point. You are all child abusers. You prey upon impressionable children and indoctrinate them into your insane ideological cult, a cult which holds many fanatical views, but none so deranged as the idea that boys are girls and girls are boys. By imposing this vile nonsense on students to the point even of forcing young girls to share locker rooms with boys, you deprive these kids of safety and privacy and something more fundamental too, which is truth. If education is not grounded in truth, then it is worthless. It is poison. You are poison. You are predators. I can see why you try to stop us from speaking. You know that your ideas are indefensible. You silence the opposing side because you have no argument. You can only hide under your beds like pathetic little gutless cowards hoping we shut up and go away. But we won't. I promise you that. I'm a feminist and I don't okay, hate so men. Okay, so you are a self-described feminist. What is a woman? Why do you want to know? I'm infinitely what, wait, curious. What's a man? You're looking at one. You're saying these things because you're trying to get a gotcha. You're okay, a feminist. So Shouldn't you be able to tell me what a woman is? I'm a feminist. Isn't that probably important to feminism? What is the woman that you're bruh, trying to advance know, and right? protect? Bruh. Isn't that <laughs> integral so to? Fe is that the whole feminist project? The war Asking against what a woman is is the is the only way that you can well, get a gotcha over everybody I, I, else. I, I, Why is it so important to you to define things in certain categories? Why does how does that help your day to day life? Like what, what other categories? Categories in the human species are there besides male and female? Well, I just think that categorization is usually unhelpful when we're trying to improve society, right? I have XY chromosomes. Okay. Can I give birth? Um, no, you can't. Bingo. That's why categorization matters. Yeah, that basically proves she doesn't actually care about anything. She's just pretending to care. Basically virtue signaling and saying, look at me, I'm so tolerant of everything. But the truth is, she doesn't actually stand for anything. She's just a sheep. If you think anybody can be a woman, then you can't fight for women's rights. So both of her ideas contradict each other, which means this is a prime example of double think. Pretty delusional. Obviously has no individual thought process. These are college kids. They are so far gone from reality. How are women specifically overall, not just one woman individually, how are they oppressed in today's society? I mean anything. It goes down to like... Can you drive? Yeah. Are, are you allowed to have a credit card? Yeah. Are you allowed to buy a house? Yeah. Are you allowed to work a job? Yeah. Aren't those all the same things that men can do? No, because men can go out without being catcalled. Men don't have to worry about their safety as much. Men can basically walk around doing whatever the f they want, and women have to worry about everything on the goddamn planet. That's actually not true. What was that statistic that we brought up that women are actually safer than men when it comes to violent crime? Oh, yeah. Men are, the, men are by far over 80% of violent crime in the country happens to men. So as a man, you're more likely to be a victim of violent crime than women. And who set that system up? Uh, look up, look up the statistic. Okay, awesome. I gotta go. Okay, yeah, no problem. We appreciate it. Okay, I gotta go now because you are destroying my victimhood complex. Yeah, that pretty much sums up the way a lot of these people think. Should biological men be chest feeding babies? Do you support the idea? Do you not? Where are you at? I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, personally, don't care. Personally, don't care? I don't care. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. It's their choice, so I guess I support it. Like, there's no reason to not support it, so. I don't know about right now. I think they, you know, they could be able to breastfeed a child. Maybe there could be a case where it's like a single father or something. I don't know. I think, like, even formula and stuff that women that can't breastfeed use, like, it's scientifically proven to not be, like, as, um... As, as good. As good. So if there's any sort of, like, artificial, um, you know, like, compounds or things, it's just the same as formula. I don't know if I can make, like, a, a valid... I like guess statement on that. Should biological men be trying to chest feed babies? No. How do you feel about it? Yes or no? Absolutely, absolutely not. No. That's wrong. It's just wrong. Hell no. No way. Absolutely not. No. No. I'm gonna keep it real. No. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm scared to even answer, but no. No. It's it's for us. How do you guys feel about that? Uncomfortable. I think it's a little strange. I think it's kind of crazy myself. That should be child abuse. 
That's disgusting. Here's the original article. Trans women's milk as good as breast milk, says the NHS Trust. Shout out to James Clug as well for bringing us these interviews, exposing these college kids. But anyway, the fact that people were saying this is okay, it kind of shows how far we've gone as a society, but also how weak a lot of people are. Because I know for a fact, a lot of these people, they can't actually believe that's okay. They're just too scared to stand up for what they believe in. So basically, society's become too weak. No one's willing to stand up for the truth. They want to accept everything and like they say if you accept everything then you stand for nothing but anybody who does stand there and say yeah that's okay that is disgusting anyway let's get into the rest of the video and try and find out what their logic is the opinion that it's bad for the child is steeped in most likely transphobia than it is in the actual well-being the care of the well-being for the child like why do you care so much i mean unless you're seeing it all over the streets i mean it would have bothered me but like I don't think that's the case. I feel like people probably aren't seeing that very often, so like, get over yourself. It's like all the porn industry has made breastfeeding a horrible thing when it's like a nutritional, it's nurture, it's a female thing, and it's completely natural. It's just feeding your baby. If it's a female thing, in this case, it wouldn't be if they're taking drugs to lactate. Is that correct? What do you mean? Nurturing. It, it can be like male nurturing. It, like, you get everything from both yeah. parents. That's just disgusting. I mean, think about it. <laughs> just visualize it for a second. That's that's disgusting. But a baby is innocent, you know what I mean? Like, a baby didn't ask for that. So, yeah, baby is innocent. I think there's a certain way to conduct it, and that way to conduct it and go about it is to leave that to women. Natural. The child, so it's like you have to not only think, you're, not, you're thinking about yourself. Honestly, you're selfish if you really want to be honest, and you're not thinking about the child and the effects of the child. That's what I think. We've gotten so damn liberal in this country, it ain't working. We're going to hell in a handbasket. And I'm not a preacher. I'm just telling you God's honest truth. So you may not like it, but that's why I feel. And a majority of people who live in our neck of the woods in middle America feel the same way. Yeah, so obviously you've got the college kids who, no surprise there, came out with the crazy answers, but then you've got the normal people living in the real world, which is good to see actually some sane people out there. So shout out to all of them people who called it for what it is, which is disgusting. And the girl who tried saying it's their choice. That is so, so wrong. What do you mean it's their choice? You shouldn't be giving biological men the choice to do this. You've got to think about the babies and the kids. But yeah, that's how kind of brainwashed a lot of these college kids really are and the other girl said it's the same as formula no it obviously is not anyway we're going backwards as a society it seems every single year have you noticed it just gets worse and worse look where this whole agenda started and now we're here where they're actually discussing should men be able to breastfeed babies insane if men were that alpha then they wouldn't be that bothered by this doesn't really help us when it comes to boys growing up and that is one of my worries that for teenage boys now they are so terrified of the consequences of putting a foot out of line. It's hard enough being a young teenager, working out how to do dating and all of that, without the terror that if you touch in the wrong place at the wrong time, you may find that your whole life is destroyed. See, see, I and like that is far that too much. Well, I, I, I like that. As a I mother think that of a teenage boy, I don't like Really? It. I would say that that attitude actually is part of the problem too. That's, to me, toxic femininity. Is that healthy? Yes, I the think it point. is, actually. I think it's better to not have a physical relationship than to have one that could ruin a woman's life. But then how do they ever start? Well, don't. If you're not 100% sure, well, are we don't. Are going to have a what? bunch of Newton Celebr boys you've never had? So we actually it's do have like that. Like Gen Z is having far less relationships yes, in any they are. it's true and young Hang people on. have stopped having she said i like that terror yeah because that's not a psychopathic thing to say is it at the end of the day men and women young men and women we all struggle coming up right but women like this they want to demonize men and make it even hard for men so that yeah they she is part of the problem anyway check this out the problem is that kids aren't getting a proper upbringing because the parents weren't brought up properly either now the internet brings up your children with extreme and drastically distorted views and hatred for one another it is hard to work with white people because they think that something may okay but it was really a microaggression and no one wants to deal with that the non-binary developer danny lalanders made these remarks in 2021 while managing a team exclusively of people of color in Validate. Validate has a team of mostly, pe mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Gamers slammed Lalanders over what they see as racial discrimination. 
Is that racist by textbook definition? For sure. I mean, you're applying a set of traits and attributes to someone uh, based solely on their race. Just imagine if a white person said this. That wouldn't sit well with anybody at all. In this world, we have people that have talents, and those people... T talent? Yes, they have talent. Every talent. No, everyone can't take no. Molly. No. You cannot take Molly. No, you can't. I it's a talent. And people have talents. People are good at specific things in life. Well, anyway, porn stars are good at sex. And if you're mad that porn stars are good at sex, then you're just jealous that your is inferior. And scary. stinky. Your is over here on the internet. My isn't seen by people worship people. my pussy. She thinks that her is being worshipped, but it, it is being worshipped by multiple people. Yeah, yeah, people pay for it. Good for you. Thank you. You're a hoe. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all women? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? You teach about racism. Define racism for me. Hatred towards another race or skin color. I've never met a person who hate another person just based on color alone. Mm -hmm. Have you? I have. Uh, you, you have. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us about that? Sure. I was actually a student I had um, at the museum. We started talking about Black Lives Matter. I was talking about Martin Luther King Jr. and um, civil rights movements today. And he kind of interrupted me and said that he thought Black Lives Matter was um, people trying to incite a race war. And that really disturbed me. So I pulled him aside at one point and I kind of just asked him. I didn't um, challenge his opinions. I just wanted to understand why he felt that way. So I can see that Black Lives Matter is an evil group. I they are I trying to that. stir up a, 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 a war between the races, a race war. Uh, am I racist? I don't think you're a racist if you feel that way. But the white guy, you just said the white guy was a racist. Why is it always the liberals that are so outraged for other groups as well? Have you noticed that? So always these liberals with too much time on their hands. But obviously she doesn't have a clue what she's talking about. I must be pretty weak-willed because all it took was falling in love with a man and now I'm like, not really. I mean, I'm a feminist, but like kind of. I don't really need my maiden name. I don't really need it. I like your last name better anyway. Like, I'll just take that. I know he can do his own laundry. I know that he can clean the house, but I want to do it for him. I want to cook all his meals. I want to make sure he's getting all his whole grains, all his vegetables. I want to make sure he's getting all that protein. Routine. He has not asked any of this of me. It just kind of naturally kicks in. Like these instincts just kind of come out of like, oh, now I have to take care of you when you're sick. Oops, I made you breakfast and it fits all of your dietary requirements. My bad. I think I got possessed by a housewife. Is that what happened? No, basically what happened is you got reset to default settings. Ah. Anyway, that will do for today's video. I'll catch you on the next one.